target acquired. Killing track two. One. Have you ever thought about a weapon so strong it could change how battles happen on the ocean? Imagine this, a laser cutter cutting through the darkness, challenging the usual ways of fighting. What if I told you that such a weapon isn't something you'll see in science fiction movies, but a reality that has sent shockwaves across the globe? In a world where military power is constantly evolving, one recent development has everyone talking, wondering, and worrying and fearing. But what exactly is this groundbreaking technology, and how has it transformed the landscape of naval warfare? Join us as we get into the story of the powerful laser mounted on a U.S. aircraft carrier, a move that's turned heads and put everyone on edge. The U.S. Navy can easily stop the most powerful missiles, but it's in big trouble from small, slow, and easy-to-spot drones. This might seem funny, but it's happening at a very dangerous time. The Houthis keep attacking the United States on the Red Sea, and now the U.S. Navy has to do something impossible – add laser weapons to their big ships. Fleet aircraft carriers serve as a nation's ultimate symbol of power. The more carriers a nation possesses, the more powerful it seems. In this regard, the United States proudly boasts the largest and most robust carrier fleet worldwide, comprising 11 carriers, each surpassing all others in size. Remarkably, the U.S. fleet accounts for almost a quarter of all operational carriers globally. Just imagine the dominance that it holds. These massive American carriers are categorized into two classes, 10 Nimitz class and one Gerald Ford class. The Nimitz-class carriers, such as the USS Nimitz and the USS Truman, have long been the backbone of the United States Navy, featuring state-of-the-art aircraft and advanced systems. Other carriers, like the USS John C. Stennis and USS Reagan, play vital roles in the fleet's operations. However, a significant shift occurred in 2017 with the introduction of the USS Gerald Ford representing the next generation of carrier technology. This $13 billion vessel, the first of its class, surpasses its predecessors in capability and efficiency. In moments of tension, like after Hamas's attacks on October the 7th of 2017, the USS Ford emerges as a pivotal asset, signaling American strength and readiness. Its arrival sends a clear message to enemies, compelling them to reconsider their actions. Inside the USS Ford's hull, there are capabilities that no other carrier can match. These include top-of-the-line nuclear power, two Beale A1B nuclear reactors, the most advanced engines for aircraft carriers. As a result, the USS Gerald Ford generates a whopping 300 megawatts of power, nearly triple that of its Nimitz-class counterparts. With such power comes great responsibility, enabling the Ford to cruise at an impressive top speed of 30 knots. Additionally, its power plant can sustain the carrier for 25 years without refueling, an incredible feat in naval engineering. Talk about being remarkable in all aspects. Moving on to its launch and arrest systems, the USS Gerald Ford boasts the world's most advanced electromagnetic launch system. Each of the four systems costs $450 million and packs 29% more power than its predecessors. These systems can launch 4,100 aircraft before encountering faults. The arrest system consists of three gears, each capable of 16,500 arrests before faults, setting a new standard in carrier technology. When it comes to weapons, the USS Gerald Ford is armed to the teeth, equipped with two MK-29 and two MK-49 guided missile launchers. It can launch surface-to-air missiles and eliminate targets from long distances. Additionally, it features three phalanx close-in weapon systems, four M38 25mm machine guns, and four M250 Cal guns, ensuring intimidating defense. The carrier's air wing is equally impressive, 
with a deck large enough to accommodate up to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles. In emergencies, this number could rise to 90, surpassing the air forces of many nations. These aircraft, including F-A-18 Hornets, Super Hornets, and F-35s, are deployed for various missions, from surveillance to threat identification and elimination. Exhilarating features, right? However, despite its outstanding capabilities, the USS Ford and its counterparts have a significant weakness. They excel at neutralizing high-level threats, but struggle with lower-tier ones. This vulnerability poses a significant challenge for the U.S. Navy, especially in regions like the Red Sea, where it faces diverse threats. Today, as the USS Ford sailed, the USS Eisenhower also headed to the Israel-Palestine crisis region. However, while Ford later withdrew due to extended deployment, the Eisenhower, with its fleet of destroyers and a submarine, remained stationed. Together, they joined forces with Operation Prosperity Guardian vessels, aiming to restore the Red Sea order. Brace yourselves, because the Houthis attacks extended beyond Israel-linked vessels, affecting ships tied to 55 nations. This turned the crisis international, demanding urgent resolution. In response, upon their arrival, Operation Prosperity Guardian and the USS Eisenhower Group sprang into action effectively stopping Houthi missiles aimed at disrupting Red Sea traffic. Within a remarkably short span of only a few months, they successfully prevented approximately 90 Houthi attacks, primarily carried out using drones. This achievement represents a resounding victory on the high seas, showcasing the importance of swift and decisive action in safeguarding maritime security and upholding international stability. But there's also a big cost gap. The Houthis' drones are cheap, perhaps a few thousand or up to $100,000. On the other hand, the American missiles that shoot them down are super pricey, up to $2.1 million each. That is a huge 2,000% difference. For example, stopping just 50 Houthi drones with these missiles could cost the United States Navy $100 million. So it's a big problem in the Red Sea. The Houthis use cheap drones compared to the Navy's expensive missiles, meant for protecting million-dollar fighter jets. It's clear that while saving lives is crucial, we must also consider the sustainability of the economy. Currently, defense costs in the United States are notably out of balance. Moreover, surface-to-air defense missiles struggle against large groups of targets, especially killer drones. As a result, American warships can only carry a limited number of defense missiles, making it challenging to effectively counter significant drone threats without rapid resupply. However, supplying ships with missiles in remote areas poses significant logistical challenge. Given these issues, there's an urgent need for a more efficient defense strategy that doesn't strain the economy. This is where advanced laser weapons come in. Without robust air defense systems, conflicts often result in mutual destruction, lacking strategic depth. Therefore, victory must involve not only neutralizing the enemy fleet, but also protecting one's own. Air defense systems play a critical role in this regard. While missiles have traditionally been the primary defense measure for leading nations like the United States, their limitations are becoming increasingly apparent. Hence, the U.S. Navy has turned to cutting-edge laser technology. Laser weapons operating at the speed of light can eliminate entire swarms of killer drones in seconds. Moreover, the operational costs of laser weapons are remarkably low primarily limited to electricity bills. This makes them far more cost-effective than the current interceptor missiles in use today. Laser weapons offer continuous firing as long as there's power, making them incredibly efficient and eliminating the need for reloads. These benefits could significantly boost the U.S. Navy's strength at sea, with even the most powerful ships becoming more potent thus diminishing threats like those posed by the Houthis. However, the Navy hasn't deployed such weapons, 
but is investing heavily in building a fleet of laser weapons. In 2014, the first of these weapons, the 33-kilowatt CQ-3 Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, completed sea trials with promising results leading to further research and development. This progress led to the creation of Helios, a stronger laser weapon scalable to 150 kilowatts, costing $15 million, designed by Lockheed Martin. Helios became the first permanent laser weapon on a destroyer, integrating with the ship's advanced Aegis radar and weapons control system. Subsequently, the 300 kilowatt high energy laser counter ASCM program Hellcap was introduced. Most recently, in 2022, the Navy awarded a contract to Northrop Grumman to develop a 1 megawatt laser capable of neutralizing threats from killer drones to hypersonic missiles. As conflicts like the Israel-Hamas war persist and the Red Sea remains a battleground, air defense becomes a crucial topic, potentially determining whether an aircraft carrier remains afloat or ends up at the bottom of the ocean. It's clear that as defense gets better, the Navy needs to keep up with new advancements like laser weapons. To stay safe and protect what's important, the Navy has to use the best solutions available. So what new advancements do you think are lying in the future of naval warfare? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button, press the bell icon, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.